Welcome to the second week of May. Welcome also, if you're just tuning in for the first time, to News Channel 3 in downtown Memphis and our online video echo blog, environmental stuff, recycling, conservation, all that type of stuff, and we're handling it right here on Your Environment. Opportunity for you to take a brief look about what's going on here in the Mid-South and, of course, how you can get involved not only locally but also globally. Even if you can't travel the world, there are a lot of things you can do sitting right from your computer and we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. This week we're going to review a lot of the stuff that we went over last week and expound on that, especially where it comes to social media and spreading the word about what you can do. If one person throws away a straw or a tin can uh, for doesn't get into the recycling bin, may not make much of a difference. 350 million people in this country throw away 350 million soda cans. That could be a very big change in things. So if we all started working together and started to up our recycling game and conservation, we could really make a difference out there. Weather over the next few days is going to be a big concern as we look at air quality. That will be coming up here in just a little bit. And again, seeing a lot of smoke from wildfires back across Mexico. And as a new storm system comes in from out west, we may be looking at more of this smoke heading up into the Mid-South area. And also, we need to be looking upwards, again, for the potential of problems out there where it comes to rocks and debris from space. 47 days until Asteroid Day. You can find out more about that at AsteroidDay.org. More information, again, at WREG.com slash weather. And also, again, just click on the Your Environment button, which will take you again directly to the page that you see there. Starting off again with information about the hurricane season. We're not quite there yet, but we are getting close. So it's now time to make certain that you are paying attention to what is going on anywhere across the East Coast states or the Gulf Coast. If you're going to be heading down that direction, you really got to be prepared. We've already seen some activity starting up, so now would be a good idea to keep an eye on what's going on. Climate Prediction Center, again, showing a lot of information about some more wet conditions across the area over the next month or so. You get more information, again, on precipitation for the one to three month range or even longer. And of course, on temperatures, we see again, looks like a little bit warmer conditions coming our way in the course of the next several days. More about that at climate.gov. You can get there again from weather.gov and click on Climate Center for more details on that. Currently in the Mid-South area, the Mississippi River on its way down, cresting all that water heading down to the Gulf of Mexico, but we still have a little bit of a ways to go before all that water makes its way on down to the Gulf. So it's going to be a while before the Mississippi River settles on down for a little bit out across portions of the Mid-South area. Good air quality, across the, the forecast area for Mother's Day, which is when we record this, and then push it out from there, and hopefully, again, good air quality in the next couple of days. But unfortunately, we'll be looking at an increase in the potential for more pollen out there as it gets a little warmer and the winds switch out of the southwest. That'll be upping our temperatures into the next couple of days. But this is where it gets really interesting. You're looking at earth.nullschool.net. It's a really cool website to go to to take a look at your entire planet and about what is available out there when it comes to weather data. What you're looking at here is particulate matter. And Again, this is important, especially as we get into wildfire season of about one micron or less, and that could include anything involving smoke. If you take a look here into portions of Mexico, there's some pretty bright colors of orange and yellow. That is wildfires, and it is sending their smoke up into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, the good news at this time is that we are not seeing anything in the way of major problems from the storm system uh, that is keeping things at bay. We're not seeing anything in the way of that smoke heading our way because of a cold front that's sticking around the area. But as a new storm system gets a little bit more organized out west later on this week and begins to head our direction, winds are going to turn back out of the southwest, and that is going to do a pretty good job of possibly bringing some of this smoke up the Mississippi Valley into the south eastern United States. So we could possibly see a decline in air quality in the next several days. So we'll be keeping our eyes on that. And again, as that storm system comes on through, you can find out more details at the Weather Prediction Center to find out more about how these storm systems move and a lot more about how they can escort in things like coal dust from China or dust from the Sahara Desert. 
It's all one connected atmosphere, which is what happens when you live in a terrarium. Now here in the Mid-South area, we have no burn bans in effect around Arkansas, according to the Arkansas Forestry Commission. Mississippi Forestry Commission also seeing nothing in the way of burn bans necessary. And again, Tennessee does not issue burn bans except on an as-needed basis. So if you'd like to find out more here, go to burnsafe.tn.org or just search burn bans for your particular state and you should be able to find out more on that. The Beautify Your School effort is coming to an end for the school year. If you'd like to find out more, you can visit memphiscitybeautiful.org to get more details about that. And cleanmemphis.org has a ton of information about local cleanup efforts in and around your neighborhood, including using less food with Project Green Fork. There's going to be a meeting coming up about loving local and finding out more about how you can help Project Green Fork. That'll be Thursday, June 13th from 6 to 9 p.m. Clean Memphis is also on Instagram. Great opportunity to learn more about all kinds of things out there. Likewise, at SustainableShelby.com, the Shelby County Office of Sustainability has a ton of events coming up that you can take a look at, including how to reduce waste, plastic straws. If we all stopped using a lot less of them, that would reduce in a lot of the plastic pollution around the planet. Think about it. You use it once, you throw it away. Why not just sip out of the cup? I mean, unless you're driving someplace, then make certain it goes into the recycle bin. But after a while, it makes sense just to get rid of that. Five pieces a day on Instagram, challenging you to pick up five pieces of plastic or other trash out there and making your world a more beautiful place. And also to take a look at how much plastic you actually use out there and using less of it is very important. OneLessStraw.org to use less plastic, especially those straws. Where's all that go to? We'll find out more on that by going to 5Gyres, G-Y-R-E-S dot org for more details about where all that trash winds up with and more importantly what you can do to help stop it. Also again for a strawless ocean go to strawlessocean.org for more information about how you can help where it comes to things like getting the ocean cleaned up a little better. Here in Memphis and Shelby County you can learn more about recycling from again the city site Recycle Memphis at recycle.memphistn.gov for more information and of course the Wolf River Conservancy has a ton of events coming up including a river front cleanup which will be happening Wednesday May 22nd in just about 10 days time Again, that'll be taking place on the 4th Bluff, Jefferson and Court Avenue. If you'd like more information, very easy to get there. Just go to wolfriver.org. And again, that's again a great place to go to for that. Keep Tennessee beautiful. Also a lot of cleanups going on. Registering for one is very easy, so find out more details at keeptnbeautiful.org for more information on that. Really cool opportunity, <coughs> excuse me, to get more details about how you can get a lot more information by just clicking a button and saving the rainforest side. Matter of fact, again, we're going to do this right now. We're going to click on the big green button right here. And just by viewing these ads that will pop up here right there, that again is where the sponsors pay for the rainforest real estate, buying it and setting it aside so it doesn't get turned into farmland or slash and burn territory. Now, so far this year, 6.9 million clicks have saved 152 million square feet. It's about 3,500 acres, but we've got a lot more to go in the course of the next several days and weeks out there to find out more details about what goes on with that. So find out more details of that at the rainforestsite.org for more information. Great opportunity to learn a little bit more about what you can do from your easy chair and to find out more information about what is out there for you to be able to do. Coming up a little bit later on, as we go into next week, coal is still an issue. Again, it seems to be on its way out, thanks mainly to natural gas production. But CBS has put together a new series called Clinging to Coal. We'll talk more about that coming up a little bit later on next week. And also, again, the rise of wind power. 
getting a wind turbine installed or thinking about it, how do you go about that? That's also something we'll talk about that'll be coming up next week on your environment for May 17th, or pardon me, May 19th. There we go for that. Questions, concerns, if you've got events out there that you'd like to have publicized so we can pass them along, again, email address down here, austin.onic at wreg.com. Send them to me. We'll include it on here. And thanks to everybody else for making the efforts to clean up around the Mid-South. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This has been News Channel 3's Environmental Echo Blog. Your